Oh, life is wonderful when loyalty is respected and blood. You're loved. Oh, yes, it is. But that doesn't Y'all happen all the time, especially not in the corporate fucking world. <laughs> of course not. Uh, yes, of course not. Anyways, uh, I am Cruise Control. I am Maxwell Silverhammer. And this is the Nothing Sacred Show for the 23rd of February 2017. Uh, the 5th, the 6th, the 9th, the 20th. 50 billionth? Yeah, the 50 billionth this, and we're still trying to get Max has his new head, head mic, mic, mic. Yeah, it's... that's why I sound a little bit different, by the way. Uh, I don't know if uh, if that noticeable or whatever. The thing I mean, is, it's, it's, definitely it's, it's clear in, in a lot of ways, and it's it, it's it sounds actually better in some ways because I think a lot of time what we were happening having before is since you weren't using headphones and you were using your your open mics, you were hearing my voice come through like an echo some a lot of times. Oh, shit was feeding back. Yeah, yeah a little I think bit. I think sometimes that happened, but it doesn't sound bad. You sound fine, so no one's gonna, no one's gonna, your your lovely, your lovely dulcet, uh, velvety voice. Oh, hey, yeah. as long as I don't sound like the last show, I sounded like I was in some kind of space capsule or something. No, I don't. Know? I don't think you sound that bad. I had that Night Rider sound to me, like Michael. You know, yeah, and you have a little <laughs> bit of that still because I think it's just the headset you have. Because because uh, even when those when those USB headsets, they're, they're you know they did their job, but they're meant for conference calls and shit and right and, simple and, stuff. Not unless you got like a major yeah, unless you got a major like a uh, uh, major like headset like a hundred and fifty dollar motherfucker. But it sounds good. It sounds decent. So you'll be fine, I think. Cool. Well, hey, one thing is at least you're not hearing my fucking smoke detector, dude. I got to tell you that story. Uh, this is. Okay, so this is a pain in the fucking ass. All right, so the other night, about two in the morning, I hear this bloop, you know, and it's in, I'm hearing it in my dream. So I'm thinking, like, I'm at the, you know, in the dream, I'm at some house or something or whatever. So I'm thinking, like, oh man, they they need to change the battery in their smoke detector. <laughs> so then I wake up, and I'm like, wait a minute, and I hear it again, and I'm like, that's in my house, I think. Oh my god! And sure enough. I'm like, it's my fucking smoke detector. The battery's dead or, or dying or whatever. So, of course, I can't leave it the fuck alone. And I, I figure, well, you know what? It's probably just a battery that needs replaced. It probably just takes a double-A battery. I got plenty of those laying around. So I get a chair, climb up there, take the little door thing off, and it's a nine-fucking-volt battery. Oh, like, who the fuck, my who the fuck God. uses yeah, nine volts anymore? The square one, right? Yep, yep. Yep, they're it's, all uh, they're all use the square ones. That's what that's that's they use those. Really, smoke detectors do? Uh, yeah, mine mine does too. I had to take mine down when it started beeping because I had to get, I have to I have to replace my battery and shit on mine. <sighs> Some See, a bit. Well, here here's the thing. So I didn't have another nine volt sitting around. My talking scale takes a nine volt too, by the way. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just haven't seen very many things that take nine volt batteries nowadays, you know. And uh, so yesterday I had Kraken take me to Walmart and I picked up a nine volt battery. So I get home last night. I put it in, and it seems to be working fine. I don't hear it beeping anymore. So I'm like, okay, cool. And so then this morning, just as I'm getting sitting there waiting for my bus, I hear, beep. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And so it starts doing it. I'm like, why the fuck is it doing that? I just put a new battery in there. So when I got to work, I looked online, and, and it said, uh, you know, for – and I love how they try to make it sound so simple and so easy, you know. And they're like, all you got to do – is you gotta take this, you gotta turn the breaker off to the smoke detector, take it down, uh, take the battery out, and then push the test button for 15 seconds, and then put the battery back in, and then put it back up on the ceiling. And I'm like, uh, okay. So I called my handyman, Warren, mm-hmm. and I asked him about it. I'm like, man, he's like, yeah, he's like, that's kind of a bitch, but he's like, if you wanna try to attempt it, you know, you're welcome to. You know, all you got to do is just reach in there and unplug it. You know, it's pretty easy. It's, you know, you just, you'll feel for the plug. And so tonight I get home, of course, and it's still doing it. So I, I pull it down and I'm reaching up in there, dude. And I'm just not comfortable with this shit, dude. There's wires up the ass in there. Yeah. You know, because I, I got an older house, too. So, you know, shit's a little different. So I'm like, there is no way I'm fucking with this. But anyway, I guess my whole point with this whole thing is, you know, <laughs> Everybody makes it sound so goddamn easy. Oh, it's real simple. All you got to do is, and it's like, no, it's a little more. And, and I'm just not, I'm not a fucking, I'm not a mechanical person. And uh, I remember I was telling Renacy one time that I had a handyman. He's like, mm-hmm. man, you know, you could save a lot of money if you learn to do these repairs on your own. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't do shit like that. He's like, no, nah, man, it's easy. He's like, I put in toilets. I put in sinks. He's like, you learn a lot when you're a homeowner. And I'm like, 
yeah, but I just, I'm not going to be able to. And he's like, no, I could, I could talk you through it. And it's just like, you know, people don't understand that sometimes there is shit that you just aren't equipped for. Or you just don't want to be equipped for is the other other the part of it. It's not necessarily that. You just don't want to learn that shit. You just don't want to bother with it. So it's one of those things, just like me with cooking. Like, I try to get into cooking. Uh, I may get into cooking if I had someone who was cool about it. Like you, you get into, you know, I can cook. Or you can, I'm like, I don't want to fucking give a shit about cooking. I'm not going to fucking fry some fucking steak. What the fuck do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> And it's not like, oh, it's easy. Just learn how to do Like, the only thing I'm thinking about doing is, like, getting a crock pot and throwing shit in there. Just to make a stew out of it after eight hours. You, you scoop this shit out into a bowl and eat it. You know, like, yeah. like, like I'm going to flambe and I'm going to have it sit on one side for six minutes. You time it. You slip it over. You flip it over. You've you, you got bubbling fucking, bo- you know. And then you're like, well, no, there's not, like, a lot of, like, see, like me, I don't like any, like, but, um, those pans and shit like that, you know, like. Like like fucking grease and shit like that and hot pans shit. and and knives spattering and everywhere and, and shit. knives yeah. and cutting shit with sharp knives like fuck I just have no I don't I'm weird like that I'm I'm kind of the same way with handyman stuff although I can get do more like computer stuff you know me I'll be I'll fucking oh yeah. shit I'm I'm pretty good well I mean I can't take a computer apart but yeah. I mean anything you know software wise shit I'm rolling yeah you're rolling you know? on that and some people are like Ugh, like you know just can't do it and that's the thing that you that's just you're you're not a handyman just like you're fucking you had a trouble with your uh, your your mask as well so it's it's the same kind of thing you know like like you're just like fuck it it's anything mechanical or anything like like that has to you have to grab shit or put shit place you know like in places like you would love the software thing but actually going and, and like putting your computer together and shit you'd be like uh... oh yeah well because you see all these little holes and notches and you're like, where does that go you know and it and i wouldn't mind learning things like that but i just it, dude it's it's too, it's intimidating, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to get shocked if I put my hand up in that goddamn... Yeah, this kind of the same thing know. with me. Like, so people are like, you should get a deep fryer. I'm like, deep fryer? The fuck? What if I lean my head over and look at it and a bubble pops and it's in my eye and I'm fucking <laughs> blinded? <laughs> yeah. fucking See, and fryer. I can sit here and go, it's really easy. I almost did that just now. And I'm like, no. Nah. Because you have you a know. deep fryer, right? I have a deep fryer, yeah. yeah. But I got to say, the one bitch is uh, trying to clean it out, although I haven't done that yet. But I've I've had I've had uh, Dottie, my cleaning lady, do it each time. So. Yeah. So what do you use to make in the deep fryer? What do you make in the deep um, fryer? I do chicken. I've done fried chicken. Um, I've done onion rings. Oh, so you can do uh, egg rolls and, and shit like that. Uh, yeah. I, well, I, I not egg rolls from scratch. I I would usually no, buy some. No, that's what frozen. I'm saying. You can buy frozen egg rolls and do egg rolls, dude. Yeah. Well, that's and I've done that with the onion rings. I've done that with. Uh, well, sometimes I'll just cut some potatoes and put them in there, dude, and deep fry them, and that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. You know, um, fried chicken's a little more work because you have, you know, the the flour and the egg, and you got to roll it in there and do all this crazy shit. But uh, see, Dan, you, know, you learn a lot of shit. See, I'm like, I don't have, I don't have a fucking clue about that shit, and I don't really want to in a way. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> just kind of freaks you out. Like, nah, I my, nah. My, but I need to do learn more. Like, you know, the most I do is fucking. Um, shakes and shit like that but i need to learn more of that stuff and some people say it's so easy like you were gonna say see we all yep. do the same thing because we yep. all find different things easy well I, I guess that's the thing too we can't we shouldn't really push like i said i caught myself because i'm like oh you know it may be easy for me but may not be easy for you you know exactly and that's so, so see you just learned a lesson during our show didn't you mr silver hammer i did you you, you saw so me you, learning you, you, you were actually going to, act- to bitch about it and say why do people do that and you did it yourself which you realize makes it not makes you not a hypocrite but it makes you realize that it's just something people do yeah that's their a, learning it's a learning see this is how this is what our show is about uh, friends it, and it is and educating and promoting awareness watching you know? watching we are not just watching our audience grow from what we tell you that you but watching us grow as you watch us debate and figure out things in our lives, just like, like little little babies, rolling out of the <laughs> fucking horse spine on the fucking stall floor and crawling over the hay pile and dying and, and asphyxiating fl- out of fucking flies eat at them or something, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, well, the other one actually kind of goes back to something you were talking about last week or last show about worrying, mm-hmm. and uh, it's funny, dude. Like. We worry about, like, you think kids worry about stupid shit. I'm always like, oh, man, I can't believe I used to worry about that. That was so dumb. Mm-hmm. But, dude, all right, here's what happened. I, there was a, a couple that the guy was, a, you know, he owned a construction company. Mm-hmm. And actually his house, you might remember, dude, the house right behind my dad's house. 
Like if you walk to the you know to the back wall of the backyard of my yeah. dad's house, uh-huh. looked over the wall, you saw that house. That was that was this guy's house. Well, when I was a kid, I used to walk over there while they were working on it and building it and shit. And I used to just think it was cool to kind of watch the progression of, ooh, today they put in windows. Mm-hmm. Oh, now they put fucking doors on it. And they did the. So I guess one day I went over there and I started talking to the dude. And, you know, he was real cool. That was another thing. He was, you know, no SMJ bullshit. You know, it was just like, he was like, hey, you know, you can come here anytime you want. You know, you're welcome. He was like, just be careful because it is a construction site. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got you. So anyway, so I, what would you I met do? Just, just to kind of curious, when you went over there, did you just stand like in one place and watch them do shit, or did you walk around and shit and walk through places and inside the house, or just wander around outside? You know what? At first, while it was in framework, I, I would kind of stand outside while they were working because you know it really wasn't much. It was just frame, you know, and those yeah, guys were obviously, kind of working. And, and you wouldn't you would just get in the way, and you kind of knew that. But but when it got to the actual house, like you'd actually walk over there and walk in it and shit. Oh, yeah, I'd actually walk in, you know, while they were in there doing work. And, and, and I mean, I had the layout of the house, you know, because I'd walk around there. And, and, you know, I got to know the family. And, uh, you know, once they moved in there and everything, it was pretty cool. I, I you know, would, would go over there and just chill out. And, is this and o- over a span of a couple of years or? Um, This is probably about two years or so, oh, like wow. from when I was like 11 to 13 oh, or cool. something like that. Okay. So. Um, you know, I got to know these people pretty well, and, and they were cool. So recently, man, I don't know why. I guess when you get older, you start reminiscing and thinking back and thinking about people in your life, in your past, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I wonder what the hell happened to them. I wonder how they're doing. So I looked them up online. I guess the house has been sold. So I'm like, well, fuck. You know, so you're thinking like, because they're, they're old. They got, they're in their 70s now, dude. Mm-hmm. And... uh so I was like, well, well their daughter's like in the, the fifth, in her fifties, and I think her, his son's like in his like fifty mm-hmm. mid fifties or something. So anyway, I uh, I looked them up online. Well, it turns out they moved to Cedar City, and I got a phone number and an address and everything. So just yesterday, I'm sitting around and I'm like, I'm debating whether I should call. I'm like, should I call? And Dude, you, you know, normally that should be, as my dad would say, nothing but net. You know, well, give him a call. You know, hey, you, you're on your lunch break. Give him a call. But instead, I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should call. I might piss him off or maybe things aren't good with them or what the fuck, you know. And, dude, I debated this shit for like 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And uh, so finally, I was like, fuck it. I'm calling. So I called. Uh, the guy answered. And I was like, is this Jack? And he was like, yes. And I saw that I you know told him who i was and he's like oh yeah he's like i remember you so dude we had a big long conversation like 30 minutes just catching up and it was pretty fucking cool <laughs> and uh, so he was like yeah call anytime he's like you know we're always down there you know our daughter dawn still lives down there in, in vegas she teaches for the school district so i was like well shit if you guys are ever down here call me or text me and maybe we'll hook up for dinner or lunch or he was like yeah definitely and he gave me his wife's email because he said she was out of town but he's like this is her email he's like i don't even i don't use email or facebook or anything but she does and i'm like all right cool so yeah dude here it was i'm sitting here freaking out over this dumb shit Mm -hmm. and really it's like why the fuck was I making a big deal out of this? You know what I'm I saying? Think, I think it's like it's training. It's also just not knowing, not knowing. Like I've, I've, I'm, I'm doing the same thing now. Like, uh, like there's this. <laughs> I have to tell you. Okay, you know what? Here's <laughs> you got a confession. Well, not a confession, <laughs> but it's actually um, kind of something that's that I'm, I'm probably going to talk about in a couple weeks. I got I got rolled into doing something here. I was Uh-oh. I was doing some improv. You know, I did my improv jam a couple weeks ago. This this lady uh, who's in the group, she's one of the better pl- be- well, she's pretty much one of the best players. She's fantastic. Wow. She's awesome too. I've been over her house. I went over her place. Um, she's cool in a lot of ways. Um, and uh, and I've I've met her. You know, I, I may have talked about her before when I went over there. Uh, went over there about a year, about six months ago to her house to play uh, Cards Against Humanity. Uh, oh. So I've been over to her place. And she invited me to this thing before. It was a birthday party. It was like a role playing thing, like not not nothing like. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were gonna go there. You be the mama. Yeah, and I'll well, be the son. So so she goes. You need to be in. The, in so this Monday, I was. It was after the improv jam, you know, at the the place. I was rocking and rolling in my, you know, hey, approach jam. Yeah, just did about thirty. It's had about thirty people there. You know, my improv thing had a couple beers in me. Wow. So, so there's this. Uh, 
She so she comes up to me and goes, "Oh, I want you. You need to be in this thing with me." She goes, "I go well. I don't know if I'll get there." She goes, "You'll get there. Just do it." And then just Scott's there. He's like, "Come on!" And I'm like, "All right." So now I'm gonna be the, the this. <laughs> we're doing this 1920s thing. It's called Murder at the Juice Joint. It's one of those like one of these like things where you dress up as a character and you do like a party thing and you go in and you try to solve a murder mystery, right? Oh, okay. So I think I've heard of that. Yeah. Something so like I'm that. I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be this director. Uh, named Hal Hollywood, who's trying to find the starlet for a part, but he's being pressured by the mob, mob or something. That's so I'll, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to give too much away for you know. Just... Is it uh, is it scripted or is it improv? No, it's it's improv. You go in there and you just basically oh. it's kind of like they kind of roll run it, but you like play the character and you like you have a secret motivation and I have a secret motivation and I'll uh, you know I'll go and maybe I'll go because we'll probably have another episode before this. It's coming it's coming up on next Sunday, so the Sunday the fifth I won't be able to do a show. But okay. I think it'll that be sounds inter- pretty. It sounds pretty dope, actually. Dude. <laughs> yeah. long, long form, imp- uh, long form. Well, it's uh, not really long, long form. It's just like people dressing up in characters. Like I've got to find an outfit, and I'm broke, broke as shit, which is something I want to talk about. Um, mm-hmm. Just because of my job, I want to talk about my job a little bit, uh, and just uh-huh. re- re- revelations and realizations, and just the, the truth of the matter. But anyway, well, um, you know, this is gonna be an introspective show, I'm sure. Man. Yeah. But I'm just, know, I'm just, full. but I'm just thinking. I'm like, oh, do I? I mean, I have to get clothes for this, and I have to get this for this, and I don't have the money. And it's like, dude, you'll figure it out. You're gonna probably have to spend like ten bucks at most. <laughs> someone will get someone. She'll, you'll talk to her. She'll get you the stuff. And I'm not, you know, I'm not really nervous about doing it because I think once I get there, and figure out what it's about. But it's just like all these little things. It's like, what are you, what are you worried about, dude? You've been offered to go to a fucking party with a bunch of people. Uh, do what shit. you love, which do is improv. Shit. Yeah, well, just act. I'm going to be acting as this this Hollywood director, and I've got my voice. I'm thinking about my voice already, and and what I'm going to be. You know, I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear, and that's all I'm worried. Oh, so you focus on the shit that you the stupid like, things, yeah. like this little bullshit preparation. Like, oh my god, <laughs> you've got to yeah. get, get a jacket and a hat or something. Oh, what about your shoes? Your shoes? Well, you'll figure it out. No one's going to get too much of a shit, man. It's it's not like it's a goddamn uh, fucking like the opening night on Broadway. It's a fucking party. It's like a, a fun little like just, mystery just party. Just get together. Yeah. And it's not like it's a public thing. Like you're doing, putting on a show. For no, I'm not. People. I'm not getting paid. I'm not putting on a show. There's no like. There's no review afterwards. Well, you know what? You weren't the greatest director in the world. Like people there who probably never done it before as well. And I'm because this is gonna be the. It's like almost like it's live action role playing, but it's like a party. It's like a. You've heard of it stuff. They do it a lot of with like fantasy stuff, where it's always a murder mystery, where you gotta like they someone's gonna die and, and someone's gonna be the murderer, and no one really knows who it is. And but you've got right. a motivation. Like my motivation is this starlet. I'm supposed to find a starlet, and there's this one starlet who's amazing, um, and you know is is like the uh, like the best, like the one because I'm I'm basically I'm the director of the first spoken spoken word movie film, right? Are, are you guys gonna YouTube it at all? No by chance. No, no. Oh, okay, it's, it's I was gonna a say if there's party. a way yeah. to, just to check it out, man. No, it's know. a private because you like I like to do this, man. I'm like, hey, I'd like to do this. Well, I, I would like to see it yeah. just to kind of see how it, it it rolls. Well, that's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do a play, a little play by play, and tell everybody how it goes because that'll be something that'll interesting for for our you know something I'm actually doing. Usually, it's you going, hey, I'm going to this party, and I'm and me, and I'm like, hey, duh, 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 duh. now I'm actually the one who's gonna be going somewhere, and maybe that's part of it too. Is that I'm so used to my own shit that I need to get out of my own fucking butthole. So your own little comfort zone, man. Yeah. And but I'm not really nervous about that. I'm not going. Oh, are people going to like once I get there and you know once I get some clothes and I feel comfortable with what I have, you know, I'll be like, yeah, this is gonna be cool because you know me, I'll get in that character shit and I'll be like, oh, hello, my name is Al Hollywood, and uh, oh, look oh. at you, because my my motivation is basically there's a mobster there named Notorious Nick, right? Because it's, it's supposed to be like in <laughs> Chicago, right? Right, and so it's like a speakeasy, basically, nineteen twenties. So we're not supposed to be there. It's called the Juice Joint, and this guy Nick has um, has this has his girlfriend named Molly the Mole or something like that, who who she he wants to be in the motion picture as the in the first speak as the main as the main actress, but she's awful, right? Right, right. But he's offering me a generous sum of money, and and I was sitting at the place before, and I had overheard a conversation. Uh, with about one of from one of his thugs, you know, saying, "Yeah, I murdered this guy who disagreed and got in Nikki's way." You know, hey, hey. so now you're afraid. As now the I'm like, "Oh afraid. shit!" I've got so now I'm going to have to try to. I think I'm not, I'm going to have to hire the, uh, the 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 terrible person instead of the great person for the movie, even though the great person is the one I want because I'll get paid, you know, generously for you know production costs and stuff, but also. 
you know, worried about, <laughs> worried about getting getting off from crossing this monster, Which is dude. funny. So the, the whole, uh, the whole seat, the whole, um, play, if you will, is, uh, actually about you being worried about some shit. Yeah, I guess Your so. That's, that's funny. That's, that's true. But it's not even a play. It's, it's more like I'm, that's my motivation. Then I'm just going to interact with everybody else because I don't know their motivations. I don't see their sheets about what their motivation is. So all wow. we're going to do is like my, like, 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 well, I'll see how it works, but I'm going to, I've got an angle I'm going to go with. And I'm just gonna see how it is. It's gonna be fun and interesting. So, but it's but it's still it's got me, uh, and I'm worried about stupid shit. Like I'm not worried about like going there and being like, oh, people are gonna love, you know, like when normally you think people would worry about. Oh, I'm socially anxious. Anxious. I don't have that shit. I'm worried I, about. Well, do I have a? Am I gonna be able to like, find the, the suit or something to wear? What am I gonna do? You know, little shit. <laughs> Something proper that's gonna look good in the scene and all this yeah, other kind of good, shit. Yeah, because it says dress to you, dress to your dress to impress. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> I don't usually dress to impress, right? No, like that yeah, kind of I don't, yeah, exactly. So it's it's just interesting that uh, that that's gonna be something. So keep up, uh, all you listeners out there. The the whatever we have now, I don't know what the fuck listens anymore. Yeah. But <laughs> but keep keep an eye out because no, for sure is James. You yeah, know, but... you'll you'll be hearing more about that. It'll be interesting to see my my uh, take on the people there and how it goes and and it might be interesting and in, in open people up in different ways too. You know, like because people can be a character. Because oh, yeah. it, it, I'm wondering what happens afterwards. I wonder if afterwards, like okay, because this ends at like nine o'clock. It's like five to nine. So I assume yeah. that maybe after. It, but is it, it is you know it's on a Sunday. So the fifth is the next sun, next sun, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after this one. Right. right. So, but I mean, it's so maybe after nine, do we just drop character and then go, oh my god, and talk about it for an hour or two, or have a couple more drinks, or what? What happens there? You know. Uh, oh. It, it'll be interesting to see how many people take it seriously and how many people like get like bent by like seven, you know, and they're like fucking dirt. You're in a character, so, man. So uh, you have to be bent and stay in character, which I guess funny. I don't know. I'm not, you know, because I don't know what's gonna happen. So, but it's gonna be interesting to see. So I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. It will be an update. Definitely. Um, but I'm gonna go into my other rant about worrying and about just just dealing with shit. Um, All right. And it's it's kind of like just about loyalty and just dis- disappointment. Just finally, re- it's almost like a relationship sometimes with a job or something similar or something that you hold on to. Like, right, like, you should, but then, then you finally see the light. You don't want to see the light kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. And it's almost like, cause, cause you're, like you said, comfort zone. Um, it's almost like a long relationship. Like I've been at this job for two years, right? right. And this job is, you know, has been steady. I know what I'm doing. I'm comfortable. I'm, 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 I'm not stressed at all, which is great in a lot of ways. It's, there's, 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 just, there's something to say for not being stressed. And at the jobs I was at before for that year, before I was like, oh God, you know, stress. And even last fall I was kind of getting a little stressed out about the uh, the support role because I didn't like the direction it was going and that's it's also being being dissolved at this point so I made the right decision um, mm, get the be, fuck out of there I would be the going back I'd be going back to calls anyways so I, I'm just talking to my my uh, first of all I didn't get a bonus this month um, and I missed the bonus because of a stupid technicality on a survey in January and if I would have got the January I would have probably made a hundred two hundred two hundred dollars more um than I did on this paycheck, but and I, and I and there is also a bonus part where I could get fifty dollars. So I was hoping to at least get fifty. Well, I didn't make any bonus, and I had I had like fifteen top box to surveys and other shit. You know, basically just fifteen. I just rocked it basically last month. I was hot, you know, well, in most ways, in right. some ways, in a, in, a, in a crucial way, I didn't. But that's how it works. You you screw up one in one thing and you're you're done. You know. Right. Right. So and that's kind of the same way that that February started. So it just kind of got me just like you know I'm just. It's just kind of stupid. I know I'm good at my job, so the so it's it's really annoying that that I get these little things that happen sometimes. And I'm not saying it's not my fault. Sometimes it is. I just you know miss something, and you know it's not you know I'm not. Gonna it's say like it's, having to read the fine print all the time. Yeah. And going, oh fuck. And it's, you know? Yeah, and it's and sometimes it's it's, it's sometimes it is like oh, that's bullshit. But sometimes it's like ah shit. Oh well, you know I, yeah, I'm I'm human. I screwed up. But still, right. overall, I do a great job, and I'm one of, I've been there for two over two years. Well, I guess what they're doing is, and I've had schedule issues lately in terms of just hours. Like, I am, I am low on hours. I'm not making a lot of money anyways, but if I was working a standard 40-hour shift each week, I'd have no worries about money whatsoever. I'd be perfectly mellow, perfectly cool. You know, nothing would be, would be real. I mean, I'd be, and it, maybe that's, this is a good thing. Maybe, this is, maybe that's a bad thing in a way. Maybe that's too much comfort. But the point right. is, I'm, I'm, I'm scraping 30 hours a week at most. Oh, um, shit. Yeah, uh, and you know, and I'm I'm getting by because I don't have a lot of bills. You know how I do, and and uh, but I've just been telling myself recently, yeah, you're getting by, but it's not, it's not, it's not getting by. Like, ah, oh, I'm good, I'm getting by. It's getting by, man. 
eating some fucking ramen, you know, getting There's by. still some oh shits in that getting by. Like, yeah, like getting by, like, oh, you can't order that pizza. You have to fucking eat the ramen tonight. Uh, like uh, before, if I was working 40 hours a week, you'd be like, I want a pizza tonight. I'm going to get a pizza. Right, but now you really got to sit and think yeah, about it. I'm like, not breaking 60 hours. I'm, I'm, I'm not breaking 60 hours uh, every pay period. So you're thinking that's 20 hours. That's, that's a shit ton of money, man, that, I don't, that I'm not making. And then right. I don't bonus, and so I have to rely on bonuses. So if I don't bonus, it pisses me off. Or if I get a bad survey, it pisses me off. Well, I talked to my, my boss, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? He goes, well, now we're going to be managing uh, schedules by, uh, by performance. So the top 15% gets to get the 40-hour shifts. The middle part gets earlier, sh different shifts. And the lower, you know, the lowest and the low get, gets like 20 hours a week. Oh, so shit. I'm like, oh, and this is like this is per month. So the schedules aren't set. You don't know how many hours you're going to get per month. It's all based on performance, how many hours you're getting. And I'm like, OK, so I've been here for two years. Does that matter at all? It's like, no, uh, unfortunately, no, it's 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 what have you. And I said, so it's what have you done for me lately? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, it's that kind of shit. So it's not. Okay. So my schedule, someone so someone could be there for a month, have a great first month. They do a lot of ball licking. Or they whatever, where they need to, or just yeah, oh, don't wow. even just a uh, ball licking, but just have a great first month stat wise. You know, uh, you know whatever they might, or they might have like they might make the stats better than I do just because of having less less certain things, and they get forty hours a week, while I have a bad month. Even though a couple months ago I was I was top fifteen in the company, you know, in terms of of, of months. So every yeah. single month I got to worry about my schedule, like and worry about my like like these numbers to see if I can get an actual full schedule. And oh it's like, shit. That's like those, um, when I used to do that stupid psychic hotline thing, you know, if your average was low, you know, even if you were on the phone a shitload of times, you know, if you, st if you had a low average, you still wouldn't get any calls. Yeah. You know, it's kind of bullshitty really. Yeah. You know? So it's like, so they're going to cut. So the, and then the people that get 20 hours, yeah, I do great on that, that month. I, and then the next month I get more hours. I can't live like that. I got to have, I mean, a like, solid like, steady. I, don't, I can't rely on my on my bonuses to to, to be happen to, to get by, and that's what I've been doing the last couple months. Because I've always thought, well, they're gonna they're gonna increase my hours to, to, to when it gets a little busier. They'll increase my hours to forty again because I have been there for two and a half fucking years. Nope, doesn't matter. So I'm like loyalty doesn't matter. So being there and being a part of the same company, not actually ditching it, not actually leaving, being there, and being, being a good in, employee, and being in different. You know. I've been in different departments. I've been asked to do support. I've been asked to do different uh, off-call uh, programs because I've been good for two years, or else they wouldn't have asked me to do it. They don't right. ask the dump, the shitty people. They they, they the, the mediocre shitty people to do stuff like that. They ask the people that are good at their jobs. The people are like, oh hey, I think that person would be good at this because the way they do their notes or whatever they do. So I've been asked that, and now it's like, ah, eh, it doesn't matter. Wow. So it's just like a revelation, like, man, like, okay, I need to do something now. Now I have to do so. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This this is not going to work for me. If they're going to treat me like, I mean, there's no. Well, it's, it's shitty because I, I saw something today on Facebook where somebody was talking about loyalty, and it's like, you're right, dude. Loyalty really doesn't have a place anymore. You know what I'm saying? At least not in, not in corporate world. Not in, not in, not in, I mean. Not in, their their ideas that well you work you you work from home and you do this so you so we you know I'm like no it doesn't matter first of all they should be paying me a couple more dollars an hour they're not um, if they were that would make the hours fine because that would make up for it in some way you know even at two or three dollars more an hour thirty hours a week you know there you go you're back up to where you need to be right you know yeah so well, but what, what constitutes a good month versus a bad month just just number of of. Of, of surveys you get and how many are, t are, are, uh, are what are called top boxes compared to bottom boxes. But the cutoff is ridiculous. I had, I had 13, I had like 12 or, uh, I think like uh, 12 or 13 uh, total surveys in January. And I got like 12, 11 out of 13 as, as top boxes. But the percentage I mean, of bottom boxes was over this number, so that score did not count toward my bonus uh, for the month. So in other words, it just knocked me down even more from that score because I didn't qualify for that. See, that's kind of bitch shit, man. Because, well, first of all, speaking as a consumer, I hate those goddamn surveys. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, even if I get a good customer service rep on the phone, you know, I just don't want it because they take too long to do. And they're a pain in the ass. And they're, you know, like, who the fuck wants to do that? Yeah. You know, but instead they use it now for to, you know, fuck their employees, too. You know, like, I, I, yeah, it does. They, they do it. But in, in the thing is, it's all it's all like random. Like I got one this month where I did everything I was supposed to, but it still counted because, well, well, you know, you, you could have been, a, you know, whatever, you know. 
So it's like they can. Wow. Some people can say, "Oh, it was great," but you know what? I didn't get a free month for the fact that I had to call because my I forgot my my password or whatever. I forgot something on my account. So they helped me and did everything they needed to me. But you know what? I was inconvenienced for having to call at all because they should have never had asked me for that. I did. I put it in once in for like three months ago. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna give them a, a you know that's boom. You're done. That's that's it for the month. You're, you're, wow. you're, it's like six percent. So six percent is like you have to have like one. You can get one in twenty bad, and then you're and you're done for the month in terms of their quote unquote productivity well, quality. Is sometimes the the people just don't do those surveys. You well, know, that doesn't saying? matter whether they don't do them. If they don't do them, great. I don't care. If you do them, then give me a good score. If you do them, they give me bad. And there's sometimes we can't do anything. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Your account has been. You know, whatever. Oh, you so know. then you get shitty scores because nothing... they do a really nasty survey just to fuck you over. Yeah, because huh? they're pissed off, and sometimes they have a right to be, but sometimes it's because of, of policy, just like anything else. So it's it's a it's a it's a crapshoot. There are ways of improving it. You know, you do a good job on the call. You call as you can. You do, you you know you do what you can. Uh, but and that's just one of the one of the metrics basically. I'm not going to go into it fully to be you know I don't want to go too deep in detail. But the point yeah. is that it's it's based upon performance. There should be some. Uh, basis on how long you've been there and how long you and what you've done with the company. There should be some way that that matters. And I understand why they're doing, you know, because they don't want people to sit pretty. And I understand that performance is important, but in terms of scheduling, uh, I'm sorry, but but in terms of scheduling, there needs to be a factor in there of people who have been there and and been doing everything for um, for a long time, you know, like and been doing different jobs and different things there. So there needs to be some kind of acknowledgement. Hey, you, you know, you should be up. Like maybe maybe in the top in a pool of people who've been there longer than you know a certain amount of time, like a year, you know, two years. Well, maybe it should they, be on seniority, like they do with the paratransit drivers. You know, the the ones that have been there longer get the better shifts. Well, the better well, that, bits, it's it should be a combination. There should be some way of having having acknowledging, you know, like hey, maybe I did get low, low scores this month, but you, so you're not going to be like, in other words, let's say you're. Um, like let's say there's three tiers. Let's say you've got 20 hours, 30 hours, and 40 hours. Let's say I've been there for two years. Well, hey, you know what? You got tw you had a whole you had a bad month. All right, so we're gonna push you down to 30 hours. I mean, I don't believe they should have uh, they should have it as, as performance at all. I mean, and I mean, I can understand why they're doing that, but I, I really you're right. Maybe performance isn't the right way to do it. But if they're gonna I, do it that way, I don't think it is. Because I mean, yeah. well, unless you're a real shitty employee, yeah, and really it should be on. The, you know, they shouldn't gauge it on surveys. You know, it should be gauged on, well, is this dude willing to work when other people aren't? You know, uh, well, I'm not. You know, I do my I, yeah. calls, I do my know. schedule. I'm always at a at a. I'm, I do my schedule. I, I do work when I'm supposed to. Um, I I've never had a write up. You know, in terms of anything, I had an attendant attendance one about a year ago. But that's you know, that happens. It's not a big deal. You know, right. like. But I mean, I'm talking about like um, like any kind of write up for any conduct or anything. So so. In a way, you're right. There shouldn't be it shouldn't be performance for for schedules. But even if it if it is, like it is, okay. I, but they should need at least give me some. It's like okay, if I get the second tier, I'm I'm automatically uh, if I get first and second tier since I've been here for so long, I get the full time. If I'm in, if I'm so bad that I I get down in the tier where where it's basically the lowest twenty percent where you're just like whoa, you know, you're awful. That month, then yeah, maybe maybe pop me down to thirty for the next month to say hey, you need to get your shit together for that next month. Because there really is no reason for anybody. I mean, most people, I've, unless you just have an awful, awful month, to be, uh, you know, and, and you know, just bad, bad luck on multiple things to be in that bottom tier. I mean, there are ways of doing the job where you're not going to. I've never been there. I've never been in that bottom tier. I've never I was going to say, so you're you're in the second tier now, though, right? Uh, yeah, right now, but but who knows what's going to happen? The point is, I should be getting the full amount of hours simply because I've been there for a long time. That should be a factor into it. So I should still be well, getting those hours, would, yeah. unless I screwed up badly. I shouldn't. But no, no, I'm I'm just another sh schlub, just like anybody who's been there for three months or two months, whatever. Come out yeah, of class. Yeah, somebody could be there for a month and be getting forty hours, and you're like, what the fuck? This yep. nigga doesn't know what they're doing. They're stupid, you know. Well, I mean, they they could be getting it because they did good. Obviously, you know, on, on the, had a good month for the first month to start out because they're you know they're doing everything and you know. Or, or they're just getting lucky, you know, who knows? But the point is right. that there's there's no there's no difference. Like, I'm just another guy there, and it's like, well, there's a reason why you have high turnover, fuckfaces. I mean, what, what's the point of staying in a place like this if you have no absolutely no reward for it? Well, you got a certificate no. last year. You know, you've been there for a year. Here's a little certificate. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck you. What, what am I going to do, hang that on my wall? You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Show... So at, at just, at just a point, like, in a relationship, like, with your relationship with, with, with Shell, you know, it's like at a point you're just like, you know what? It's comfortable. 
Uh, but I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. It's, it's annoying. It's getting to the point where it's getting me annoyed. Where I'm like, and I'm looking around. You know, I'm, I'm tired of being around this apartment. And just, uh, it's time, man. It's time to keep to look again. Um, and it's not. It's not. If I was having 40 hours, I could deal. And go, all right, I got the full schedule. You know, my t- my time off is great. You know, because I've got money to do what I want to do with. Like, you know, oh hey, this is a game. Like now, I'm like, fifteen dollars for fucking costumes. That's fucking bullshit. That's not. That's not a way to to do. I mean, I. Should, oh yeah. You know. Yeah. And I and I'm hey. not. You know, I, I don't spend a lot of money. So. <laughs> it's not know. like you have to worry too. I mean, you know, I can see if the thing was like a hundred and fifty dollars suit you had to buy. You know, then that would be kind of a bitch. But uh, to spend 15 or 20 bucks, then you're worried about that. It's like, okay, now it's time to evaluate some shit. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like there's no, there's no, yeah, the hours right now are kind of low. I'm like, hey, I don't have this many hours, so I get to fuck off, you know, and I'm, you know but, but that's not, the trade off is just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at the moment. So that's my big resolution. But just, it's kind of disheartening, too, you know, like, because I did really well in December, um, and I did get a bonus bonus then, you know, for that, and it was nice, because uh, I was, I didn't work that many hours in January, because they, you know, and uh, so, but that I can't rely on that. That's one of the things I never want to be able to. I never have to. Like I'm the type of person who I like. I want steady. I want good. If I get the bonus, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. Right. That's the whole point. Hey, bonus! All right, more money. Cool. I'm yeah. not going to be like I need to but get I mean, this now bonus it's like, to fucking matter. pay my it's, bills. It's, it's you know? not even on you. It's not. It doesn't even hinge on you really. It's just you know if the customer's pissed off and wants to stick it to you, you know, then it's yeah. like well, well I'm fine. not going to say it doesn't. I mean, I've been in the business long enough to know it does. There's no there's no question that in some ways it does. Like sometimes a bad situation, if you're a good customer agent, you're going to turn that into a situation. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the best situations aren't. So in a way, it is at least somewhat of a of a randomized, randomized thing, but it's just kind of disheartening. It's like, you look at it, it's like, oh, this person disappointed me again. You know, I'm like, I'm like the girl in the movie, you know, at that point in the movie where, dude, you just did it again, Johnny. I'm sorry, I'm going to change. No, Johnny, I can't accept you're going to change. I have to <laughs> I have to move on. <laughs> you have to move on. You're not satisfying me. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Well, it's the truth. Sometimes in this situation... And I even told my, I even told my boss. I mean, like, I yeah. hate, I hate to sound uppity, man, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with shit like that. You know, yeah. it's like. So I'm looking uh, for stuff, and you never know. There might be some stuff down the road, but I need to need to figure figure out. I mean, I'll be okay. I'll I'll get by on what I am doing now. Right. I always but do. Look at your job sucks balls, man. You know that. But what? Looking for jobs sucks yeah, balls. Yeah, it can. It can definitely do so. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. You know, and. uh Unless they're willing to say, hey, you know, we're going to give you 40 hours consistently all the time. And they're not doing that. Schedules are fluctuating, 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 and shift, Flux- shifting, fluctuating, <laughs> fluctuating, fluctuating, duck, duck a boodling. Haka-paka-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t
I like oh, to I'm, drive. I'm sure. Well, some of the girls I've seen, dude, it's ridiculous. You know, who's your and they all say the same generic shit. You know, who's your biggest in, three biggest influences and you know, and they all say my my mother, my father, Beyonce. And, well, no, none of them. Actually, none of them have said a celebrity as of yeah. yet. But you know, a lot of them do say either mother or father, um, or like they'll say, "What's what are five things you can't live without?" Everybody says, "My family, my job, my health." You know, dumb shit. You know, just like really generic. You know, nobody really switches it up. You quick, know. Quick question: How how have you did you check her profile and did she write anything oh. different? Oh yeah, no, no. I checked your shit out. It wasn't. Well, it was like the rest of the generic ass profiles, really. Okay. You know, there was nothing really that that jumped out at me. You know, that was like, oh shit, I gotta talk to this chick. I'm just thinking maybe she thought you were you were actually something different. She said, you know what? He is actually putting more effort into this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it the number. Now she'll never do that again. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, I I tend to think because oh, I I left this part out too. You know, on Facebook <laughs> with a phone number. You can search for people, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I did. I used her phone number and checked out her Facebook page. And one thing it said on there is, I have four beautiful children. No. <laughs> you know, I don't want anything to do with that. Okay, well, that, but that's after the fact. Okay, that's still after the fact. So I oh, guess... Oh, I, the, the, actually, I didn't write her until I did all my research first. Oh, you went and... Oh, see, but so you wrote... So you wait, so you went... Looked up her shit and then wrote her back because you knew you weren't going to talk to that bitch again. Yep. See, you yep. didn't, you didn't like, mention oh, that last time, dude. You I don't did, want to talk to you. You did not mention that last time, dude. Uh, uh, you know what? My bad. Cause, you, yeah, you, you did guys... not. You were so defensive. You need to you need to step your game up, dude, because I would have been like, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you why I did that. Right. Even then, well, I would have been. because both you niggas were ripping on me, and I'm like, oh, oh okay. You can't you handle know? two on one, so... man. You, you. you Mental, you need to get some mental. I froze, calm. is what I did. You did, man. I hey, froze. Dude, that's that's but, another lesson learned, man. See, uh, bring that shit up. Say, hey, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain what happened. See, I got her information. Did it? And I would have been like, oh, yeah. No, he, see, he probably wouldn't did, have. After looking all that shit up, you know, and, and oh, and she seems kind of. By the way, she goes. <laughs> I'm not gonna say her, her name, but you know where it says nickname. Yeah. It's she put loca. Oh god. Oh, okay. My... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. but still, yeah. I still wouldn't have responded to her because, because hey, you know what? She she did try to try to do something different, and I think I think that's what you were complaining. That's what the main thing problem I had with it she, is that you were complaining about everyone just sends me a smiley, no one does anything else, and someone actually does something else, and you're like, why did she do that? I'm gonna write that bit, you know, when you. Well, and, and here's the thing too, man. You know, like I said, she's probably given her number to because, dude, just by going through her facebook you could tell she was a little bit white trashy see this is just, this is why it would be awesome to be able to see her kids because if they looked all different then you'd know they're probably from four different dudes probably so you know you i mean know. i can always well let's see i don't know if i remember her number now but anyway at some point <laughs> if you ever wanted to go and look um although i i did have somebody do a little recon because you know there's pictures i can't see you yeah. know what i'm saying uh -huh. so, so i did have somebody do a little lookums for me and uh they were like yeah she's got you know, four kids, looks like a daughter, and, a, and I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck all that. And uh, I don't know, just your typical huh. chat. See, you know? see, you didn't mention any of this last week, so. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, my bad, man. That's, I don't know, man. I think, is this some revisionist shit? I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to dig into this, see me. So you, you bullshitting me here, man? Did you do this I, shit I'm gonna after? Ha, I'm going to have to, uh, fuck, dude. You know what? Maybe I'll go back and see if I can get her phone number. So you can look at it yourself. No, that's not what I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking up. about, about you, you might have did this like after Thursday. You were so butthurt that we just totally crushed you on, on, on the show. <laughs> no, no, no. But no, you man. were like, man, I'm going to go. Oh, wait, here, oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I looked this up before I talked to you guys, before I had the show. That's no, why I mentioned you know, any of it at all. You no, know, that's not that's not my get down, man. I, I know, man. What I, I got to fuck with you. Is I, was, I actually didn't write my message because I, I saw it at work. And that's when I did all my recon work, when I went to her Facebook and all yeah. that shit. And then when I got home, um, because actually, dude, I was having trouble writing her on the PC. There was some some weird thing with eHarmony where something wasn't working right or whatever. So I got on my iPad, which is sitting right next to me here, and that's when I was able to write her about, you know, you don't, you gave me your phone number. You don't even know who I am. I could, I could be a serial killer. And not only that, but here's my next point, dude. You know... I'm not into a lot, a lot of times people don't get the motherfucking hint, dude. 
So I don't want to waste anyone's time because I've had it done to me, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. And uh, case in point, experience project, you know, somebody's wasted my fucking time. And, uh, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm not going to leave anyone on. I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to make it so she can move on and do what she needs to do and, and she can mark me out of the equation. Okay. You know fair, what I mean? Fair enough. Fair enough. You know. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the thing, man. I, I, and th- this kind of leads into something else. Somebody not getting the fucking hint, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, this, I think you've been, this is like a, I think I've seen a couple of these things on Facebook uh, recently, but someone else is not getting the hint. Uh, uh, yes, you know. there's a chick. Um, I'm going to call her Patty Penis because her name is, her last name is similar to Penis. <laughs> but anyway, she, uh, you know, and she's pretty much made it known that she's into me. You know, like I saw her at a, a veteran mm-hmm. event a few years ago and, uh, you know, if I've told the story of the show, man, stop me. You know, ever. I think you probably have have, and, and she's always comes up to you and sits next to you, right? Uh, and talks to me. And, yeah, oh, yeah, right. yes, I, I, I know. Yes, you talked about it several times. He's tapping, that's right. Okay, yeah. so the one from the Christmas party, then. Yes, the, the blind sitter Christmas party. Yes, yes. So just the other day, I get to work, man, and there's a voicemail from her. You know, I thought for sure she she kind of figured it out. You know, I, I never was rude to her, whatever. Anyway, long ass fucking voicemail. Basically saying, you know, you know that she she wanted to check in with me and see how I'm doing, and you know wanted me to call her, and she's like, you know, I really would like to go to some events with you sometime, and it's like, bitch, this isn't fucking, you know, a pleasure cruise or a day at the zoo, you know, this is my job. I'm not just bringing you to an event with me. What the fuck, you, you know, you're just gonna be dead ass weight. So uh, anyway, she was going on about that, and she goes, and, and you know, because you're you're very sheepish and shy, and I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's yeah. definitely those are definitely not adjectives. To yeah, describe that's you. Me. That's you, sheepish and sh- sheepish and shy. Sheepish you're, and you're just Maxwell sh- Silverhammer, Maxwell, very quiet. That's, mild that's why he does. That's why you don't do didn't do a a radio show every day of the week, two hours a night, because you're so sheepish, sheepish and shy. I know. I know. And then talk about doing improv. <laughs> that, that's just someone who has no idea. They think they, they just can't grasp the idea that you're not an interest. It's like, I wonder why you're not getting talking to me much. They must well, be shy. Cause she is kind of slow. And, and what's, too, what's right? funny though, is I, the reason I'm that way and I'm not straight up rude to her is because it's, my work yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying i can't be i know, you know? That's, that's the thing you can't be but that, but she's not doesn't realize that you that it's no you're just not you're trying to be cool she's actually just too clueless to realize that so she's trying to make up reasons to justify her her you know to not make herself feel bad well it can't be me and my boring ass it has yeah. to be because she's sheepish and shy yeah you're little, little scared you're he not just a goat, needs to come out of sheep. shell <laughs> you're a sheepy you're not a goat you're a sheep man I know, meh, I'm a lamb. Oh, so, 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 <laughs> you're just so, like, what the hell? And then, well, the other funny thing, dude, is she has, okay, so in one breath, she calls me sheepish and shy. Then in the next breath, she goes on, like, she said something at one point, you know, the, the two things that I give credit to of why I'm even still alive is God and you, because you helped me through, because, you know, she's losing vision, so she's, you know, got vision issue, which, by the way, she's loving because, you know, now she's a very special little snowflake of tin, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it God makes and her... you. So you're her reason to live? Is that what she... <laughs> Basically saying, well, she's, I don't know. It's kind of funny, dude, people's perspectives. Like, she has this idea, like, even when she tells people, I have to kind of stop her and go, I didn't say that. Because, <laughs> you know, there was times where she was like, hey, yeah. and, you know, at first when I started losing my vision, I met Maxwell, and he was like, uh-uh, you need to pick yourself up, and you need to, you know, get out there and and, get and you're like going. i never said that <laughs> yeah i never fucking said it yeah, dude I, I didn't know her until she came to one of our meetings one so time she, not only is she full of shit but she's she's full of shit and she's stupid too so she's she's completely bu- full of shit. bullshit completely bullshitting like yeah like it's interesting. like making your own reality basically like oh you know i, I talked to maxwell and he he got me, he motivated me to do, you know, it wasn't even like watching me and getting motivated. She actually made up some dialogue that well, maybe, I was maybe, maybe it's because of the unspoken dialogue that you were actually telling her with your, your movements or something. In my mind, I was telepathically talking to her <laughs> going, you know, Patty Penis, you need to pull yourself out of your rut and get going, man. Hey, you know, you need... <laughs> hey, Patty, Patty Penis, turn that, turn that frown upside down, all right? This is what you need to do. 
You need to get your, pull up your bootstraps. I see the frown. I see you. You might be losing your sight, but that doesn't mean you got to lose your vision. Have the vision. Oh. Have the vision. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, but you're right. That's, it, With the music in the background. You know, like... You just got to rise up, Patty. Because while your life might be covered in darkness or your eyesight, the light is still at the end of the tunnel. And you know what? You will be able to see it at some point if you just believe. And, and in actuality, yeah. all you did was say, well, yeah, good job. Glad you're getting up, Patty. You got to keep on. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, she needs a little pat on the back. You know, it's good you're getting out, Patty. No, but that's right what I'm saying. That's all you said. You know, it's good you're, it's good you're doing stuff and keeping, keeping active, Patty. That's all you say. Like, yep, yeah, me, get me the fuck out of here. Well, she's like, in her mind, it's like, and the sun shines behind your head. The light fills your vision as you can't see, but you're still walking like you can see every obstacle, you know, whatever. Like, but all you really say in real life is, oh, yeah, that's great. Good good job to you. Uh, nice all to right. see. That's good for you. Yeah. Good for, you know, that's, <laughs> that's all. So, yeah, dude, it's, uh, it's just funny. It's like somebody who has no idea who you really are. It's totally fucking stupid and clueless, like you said. And, uh, you know, just... Uh, ugh, I don't know, man. It's it's fun. okay. By the way, dude, I just want to say this. You know, my phone hasn't rung all day. Mm -hmm. Now since we've been doing the show, it's rung several times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? You know, it's, these fuckers it's, wait for me to get on the show, phone. Show karma, man. Show karma. Yeah, it's show karma. Let's maybe I should have done my thing. Hey, if uh, the, if what's her name's ever gonna contact me, my phone's gonna ring while I'm doing the show. If not, then it won't ring. Oh okay. wow, that that yeah, <laughs> good God! I mean, why do you even bring that? That's that would that would forget that completely ever happened. But that did happen, didn't it? Oh shit! It has happened. Yeah, you know, I, I've done that in the past. You know, yeah, so well, you did I on the show uh, once, didn't you? Do something where like you thought someone was gonna call? No, there was something else you did on in shit that actually that was like superstitious or dumb like that. Maybe it just reminds me of that. I don't know. Um, yeah, there was a lot of shit I did yeah. that's superstitious. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, you... <laughs> you know. So, uh, and that's that was that was that. But yeah, it's <laughs> anyway, <funny>. I... <laughs> well, I never. I never called her back, though, needless to say. Um, and I, I'm going to see her at this veteran stand-down event. Woo-hoo. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> You're going to be like, so. hi, and she's going to think you said, oh, Patty, and like said wrapped I, her in your arms and like fucking sucked on her face for two hours. She oh, said hi to me, which means in my me mind. You beautiful. You called me beautiful. You called me, no, I just said hi. But the, the, the way you said hi was like behind it was. And I could tell. That you was a blind person, you don't know beauty, and you still told me I was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Lord. Yeah, that was just, it, it's just one of those things, it's, it's frustrating again. Mm. Anyway, I guess I said that to say this, you know, there's somebody who truly can't get the fucking hint, and only if I could be nasty to her one time, you know, maybe then she would finally get the, well, although some people like that, dude, even when you're nasty to them, they're too stupid to pick that up, too, mm -hmm. you know. Or, so. yeah, she might say, well, you don't, maybe you don't, or maybe she's like, well, maybe, maybe I can make him not nasty to me. You know. I have a plan. Yeah. I'll offer uh, him, I'll find out his favorite ice cream. That's what I'll that's do. That's what I do. Guess, you know, that's what he, that's the, what I would want, whatever. And I'll put it up my pussy, so then he'll have to yes, eat Yes, so the cold, frigid, fucking, frostbitten ice cream snatch. It's a Vagifrista, dude. A Vagifrista, a Vagisicle. <laughs> Vagifrista. <laughs> a Vagicino. Yeah. Vagicino. <laughs> so, uh, a Jatuate. <laughs> Jatuate. Oh, wow. A, what is it? Gelato? Gelate? Gelate. Vagilate. Vagilate. Vagilato. Vagilato. Jatuato. Vagilato. <laughs> So, oh. anyway, fuck, man. Well, that's that's all I got. I don't know if you got anything else. No, man. I, I, I kind of actually had more than I usually do, which is interesting. So, um, yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. I've had more than I did, too. But, but that is the um, show for this week. It is the 23rd of February, 2017. Uh, you probably can't hear me, and no, I don't give a fuck. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's just uh, let's wrap this up. No need to go any further. I am Cruise Control. And I am Maxwell Silverhammer. And, and that's, that's the story there, bitches! Hi, <laughs> <laughs>
Hitler. Hal Hollywood. Hey, nigga.